good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I don't know when you're watching this. Anyway, what's up? So, you're noticing something different about me today. Do you know what that difference is? A friggin' hoodie. It's cold outside. Welcome to New England. Welcome to Connecticut. This is what we gotta deal with. Whatever. So we've been slowly working on redoing all the rooms in the house, starting with the kids' rooms. Then we will work our way through the living room and our bedroom, which is pretty cool because a lot of stuff we're doing, we're not just buying new and balling out because, believe me, we are not balling out. <laughs> so what we do and what I suggest people do all the time is, and I talked about this in one of my other videos too, is DIY projects. DIY projects. I can't even talk. DIY projects. Do it yourself. We go to places like Goodwill or Savers or any place like that that sells used things for cheap as hell, pretty much. Find something in decent condition, take it home, refurbish it yourself, fix it up, paint it a little, make it look nice. And this is exactly what we're doing with the kids' rooms. So for my daughter's room, we actually took her old dresser, which was just a plain wood color, fixed that up, repainted it to the colors that she liked. Got a couple new posters. This mirror was like $8. Used, old, beat up at Savers. My wife took this thing apart. Painted it this nice blue. And then we made sure the same blue went on the dresser for the drawers. I painted it white. There's your new setup. We took her old loft bed which we were using as a bunk bed before. Took the bottom out. Took the top of the original dresser off. This was actually the color of the dresser. We put it in here. And now this is her little reading nook. Added some Christmas lights in there to make it a nice little reading nook and chill spot. Probably gonna add a little paint in there too. Let's see what DIY does. Keep calm and stay anchored. Princess parking only. All others will be towed. A for apple. Beautiful. And this is where I paint my nails. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. <clears throat> I'm gonna stop talking like that now. <laughs> Yo, I got issues, I know. And this is another project we're working on. This bookcase slash dresser was all this color. Paint the whole outside black. Spray paint the front this nice silver. So we did that because both of our older boys are in high school. They're both in a technical high school. So we figured not, why not make their room look almost like a shop. It's pretty cool. The obsession with the nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> Minecraft. Caution, I do not have time for stupid people. Please do not disturb, I'm sleeping. And even if I wake, I probably don't want to see you. Warning, no stupid people beyond this point. So you see, you do a little DIY, do it yourself, it comes out nice, you're not spending all this money buying stuff brand new. Buy some old paint from like Walmart, Home Depot. These places sell paints because people return them because they didn't like the color or whatever. They're selling them for like half price. Go to Savers, Goodwill, whatever kind of flea markets, whatever. Whatever kind of places that you have around you that sell used things for cheap. Believe me, we'll find a dresser, a dining room table, kitchen stuff, bedroom stuff for very cheap. I'm talking like under $15, $20 most of the time. Take it home, put a little muscle into it, sand it down, refinish it. Get some old used paint from Home Depot or Walmart because people return these things because they'll get it. and be like, oh, you know what? I don't like the color of this. I'm going to return it. And these places will take it back and sell it for half the price of the original cost. And it's still maybe this much less than a gallon from the original sale pick that stuff up do it yourself you're gonna like the results better than you will of a brand new product you're gonna spend less than half the money and you're gonna cherish it and take care of it better because you're the one who put that muscle into it so when people put stuff on it or it gets dirty you're gonna be like yo clean it i just painted it so you're gonna take better care of it in the long run it's gonna last longer it's gonna look better 
and you can have people come over and when they see that oh where'd you get that you can just lie and be like yo i'm balling out i just paid like whatever for this or you could be like you know what i did this i put the work into it and you could spread the word and have this diy thing go even further than just your own household like we're doing so our place is completely beach themed it's just something we love about it we got mirrored on the beach so that says a lot too <laughs> my wife actually put this together so we have a beach wreath which is pretty cool so i'm going to show you a few things around our place that were either diy and we fixed up ourselves or we found somewhere cheap on clearance or was gifted to us but believe me 75 percent of the stuff that i'm about to show you was a diy thing and i'm going to show you how our place looks little things here and there you're not going to see the whole place because i don't want to be stalked yeah <laughs> There's a little taste of what we've been working on for a while. I hope it inspires you to do kind of what we're doing. You're not out there going broke. You're doing everything you can in the most cost effective way. You're doing it yourself. You're putting in that hard work. And like I said, you put in that hard work and I guarantee that you will take better care of whatever you're putting that hard work into because you put that muscle in there and you don't want nobody taking that away from you. So I hope this inspires you to go out. Start doing a few things yourself. Don't be out there spending money when you don't have to, right? So there you go. There's my vlog for today. I just wanted to show you guys what a little DIY can do. So I hope it does inspire you because what we're doing, I love doing it. It's cool and it's a good way to put your creative mind to use. And I guarantee, whether you think it or not, that you do have a creative mind up there. Everybody does. You just got to think a little harder sometimes because I even draw blank moments. My wife comes up with a lot of the ideas and then I go with it. But you go online, you Google, you Pinterest, I'm not on it. I know my wife checks it sometimes. But just go online and get ideas and then take those ideas and put them to use in your own house. Anyway, hope you have a good rest of your day, your night, whatever time it may be. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. And if you want to get notified anytime I do publish a video, click that little notification button. This looks like a little bell, I think. Probably, most likely, yes, it's a little bell. <laughs> and what that'll do is shoot you an email whenever I post a new video up saying you need Gomez TV, post a new video. On top of that, you can follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Unique Gomez TV. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.